Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Cities Skylines Strategy and Tactics Episode 4. So, when we last left our burgeoning city, we needed additional residences. Uh, you must construct additional houses! Um, so that is what we are doing! We are constructing additional houses! Uh, or rather, zoning for our citizens to do the constructing. We're not actually doing the constructing ourselves. That would be make them poppable buildings, and that would be against the general flow of a city builder. But I digress! Um, hopefully these new uh, residences this is, uh, will dispel some of these I-don't-have-enough-worker icons that are popping up in our industries, because I don't like those, because those tend to lead to uh, abandonment. And they're not the kind of uh, thing that you can fix directly, personally, and quickly. So hopefully... Uh, Hopefully we get some workers in there to fill those jobs. The economy in this game is a little bit different uh, well, compared to real life. Uh, the economic harm seems to come from not having enough workers rather than having uh, not enough jobs. It always seems to be the case. If you're going to lack something, you're going to lack workers. Uh, but eh, residences are good enough. And guy, yay, yay, this bus stop. Very popular. Not that I'm complaining. Hey, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad my uh, my transportation dollars are going to be put to use, uh, good use. That is. Oh no! One other thing. I was looking at uh, the, these little farm zones are all here by the mo by their lonesomes, and there's a lot of traffic that goes by here. So you know what? I'm gonna break form here just a touch, and uh, do a little rezoning here, especially since. Uh, um, well, we don't really need need that. So I'm going to. Dezone you guys and rezone you commercial because I mean, I mean, really, this kind of looks like the appropriate place for a commercial zone. I mean, heck, I'd zone these things commercial zones, but the workers would have no way to get back into, back into the city after they finish their shifts uh, unless they walk to work, but I'm not gonna chance that. So, there we go. We got ourselves some shops here, or well, no, yeah, these these are uh, these are going to replace themselves once they realize that they are in the wrong zoning type. Uh, how are we doing traffic-wise? Yeah, eventually we're going to need to expand this thing. Um, and it's, yeah, it's all these deliveries. Like when traffic's flowing normally, it's flowing normally, but it's just when people stop to make uh, deliveries that uh, we have issues. Am I going to have to del delete you? Oh, there you guys go. I was wondering. Uh, maybe they had to send out some uh, delivery trucks or something like that before uh, they were ready to get replaced. Alright, I'm just curious to see what pops up here. Um, Alright, our houses are growing here and our uh, uh, residential demand is fairly low. Um, and actually demand for industrials are going up. So, uh, huzzah. Granted, I didn't do any favor from doing that, but eh, it's a drop in the bucket, and there's still some commercial demands. All right, what do we got here? A general store. So yeah, this is uh, this general store is probably going to get pretty uh, pretty well leveled up, given the amount of traffic and people coming here. Oh, and we're getting a bonus one right next to it. Sweet. Yep. Okay, we are getting some. Uh, we're getting a little log jam here. I think it will be time for us to uh, do some road upgrading here. Let us not uh, put that off. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go right for the jugular here. Uh, or I could. God damn it. Or I could screw up and have put my cemetery too close to the road. Damn it. And now there's there's two dead people in here, so I can't. Uh, can I can I at least can I at least Jimmy a four laner? Probably not. Nope. Space already occupied. Yep, I should have spaced it a little bit further away. That was dumb of me. Because I got nowhere to shuffle those two corpses to. Unless I build another one of these, so I'm kind of stuck with this right now, unless I just butcher the whole front line here. And I kind of did the same thing to this lot road, too, so that is poor planning on my form. So, uh, tip, tip number one for today's episode is when uh, building uh, um, uh, 
landfills and cemeteries next to roads that you will eventually upgrade to a wider format. Um, space them. Space them further. That way you don't need to go through all the malarkey of moving them. Alright, well we're going to have to just deal with this. You know what? Actually, well, here's what we're going to do. We'll, we'll upgrade the things we can upgrade. Um, we will upgrade... We will not upgrade that because we'd have to move that. Jeebus. For Pete's sake, game. Or for Pete's sake, me. I am. <laughs> I have been. Uh, uh, poor planning. Poor planning. Alright, fine. We'll upgrade the thing we. the one thing we can upgrade. Maybe if we make this a wider area, then it will. Uh, and heck, while we're at it, let's uh, let's draw a fresh one of these. No, we're not doing upgrades. There we go. Yeah, we'll just do that from the get-go. Wow, that's expensive. All right, there we go. That should do uh, do well for us. Get some getting some good industry going here. And what do you just convenience store? Fair enough. Not that many workers in these two buildings, but eh. what the hey? Oh yeah, now residential demand is bottomed out, so we are going to need these extra jobs. Luckily, those not enough worker icons have vanished, so that's a good thing. All right, we uh, we are still going on our quest to save up for that high school, because once our commercial zones start leveling up, uh, they're going to start needing well-educated workers. Um, increase the value of the land. Okay, so that's probably what's holding all of these back, which is actually a good thing. Uh, I will build a park or a plaza or something here in Atlas Park to uh, goose the land value a bit. Um, if this were actually, if this were not hard mode, these would be leveling themselves up already. But because hard mode makes it harder for buildings to level up, they're going to be a little bit fussier about things like land value. All right, so... Um, all right, we are still yeah we're 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 netting uh, twenty three hundred, which uh, for hard mode is quite good. Uh, let me remind me of my financial goal here thirty grand. Oh yeah, now I remember why it takes so long to get that because I keep getting distracted by other things, like upgrading these things. Now you guys are wanting commercial. Well, that's easy enough to provide because we already have the framework for it. We'll just slap down the zoning and let you guys go to town. And as far as traffic goes, um, our, our central spine's not doing so bad. Um, oh, 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 all right. Once again, we are distracted financially by uh, the pressing needs of, uh, yep, time to pay the piper again. And by the piper, I mean additional, uh, you must construct additional wind uh, farm thingies. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this as my main power source until we unlock some uh, other of it, others uh, later on. Uh, just because, I mean, we, ha we have a patch here that can get the full 20 megawatts and we can build it in a place where the noise is not going to get to anyone who's building. So we're just going to make a big old line of them right here in the middle of our river. And that should settle our power needs just fine. Of course, that set us back on our thing, but I, th I think I'm going to hold back on building up new zones until, uh, until we get our high school. Because uh, then I can start. Uh, then I can start working on Atlas Park as a proper commercial district. Yeah, at least our off ramp is still doing. Eventually, uh, eventually we will unlock highways, and eventually I will turn this off ramp into a highway off ramp, uh, just so that people can get out of town at highway speeds. 
Um, I mean, it turns into highway here, but that just that's the stuff that came with the town, and we can't build it ourselves until it unlocks, which I think is in a milestone or two. Um, I am going to need to get another set of police and fire departments, so one for up here and then one for down here uh, to cover our residential zones. But um, I, uh, I want that high school first because I keep distracting myself. All right, so let's goose this up to uh, hyperspeed here. Yep, all the commercial zones built themselves up nice and quick, and we've got we've got fairly even RCI demand here, which is good. Which means we're sitting at a fairly good balance. Nothing is, you know, nothing. You're not going to get mass abandonment due to either unemployment or lack of workers. Um, so yeah, there's still some good stuff to to be had here um, by just sitting on what we've got and letting our money accumulate a bit more. Uh, let me uh, actually let me inspect what our um, how our um, transportation network's doing. Since we're we're doing a period of uh, of um, lesser activity, we can uh, we can inspect. Um, all right, so we've got got this new bus stop. Just a couple of people chilling here. Uh, maybe a big maybe a bus just came in, but oh look at look at all those people that just exploded out of that bus. That is a lot of people who just came home from work who did not uh, drive their own cars. Um, and the bus is going to have a more profound effect for this uh, this residential area than it is for here. Because these people taking their cars, they're still not, even if they do take their cars, they're not going to be on the roads for quite as long. Um, so, yeah, that works out well for us. Uh, how is this bus stop doing? There it is. Yep, so a few people uh, chilling there. How's this? Uh, if I remember correctly, this is this was the one that was. All right. Well, at least we're getting uh, getting these serviced pretty well. Let me take a look at the numbers. Fifty three per week, not bad. I mean, it's a small transportation network, so you're not going to expect uh, gargantuan numbers. Um, all right, so we are uh, about halfway there. Uh, still growing in our population. All right, I'm just going to fast forward the game here for a little bit um, while we uh, while we uh, accumulate some cash. Or no, maybe not. Um, we just hit our milestone, which means we're going to get a, a chunk of cash here. We get access to the city planning policies, more unique buildings that I haven't really done that. Uh, but hey, we get some fancier, um, fancier things here. These can be our tickets to raising land value without going crazy with parks. Uh, we also get, uh, ooh, the police headquarters, the fire station, the, uh, the oil power plant, meh, the hospital. This might be a, a good, these might be good purchases if we're going to be expanding our networks if we want a big one somewhere. So yes, hooray, busy town. All right, well, that gave us enough money for uh, quite a few things, actually. Uh, so let's uh, let's not dilly-dally any further and let us throw down that high school. Uh, now the question is where? Uh, well, this will affect more residents. Um, but... No, we want more res Well, if we put it here. We'll get yeah. We'll get all the residences, is, is, and we've already expanded this uh, this spine out. So uh, high school goes here, and that makes everybody happy. Um, now, how much are those bigger, beefier? Seventy five k. Yeah. Nah. All right. So maybe not so much. Maybe not so much. And we haven't unlocked incinerators yet. No, not yet. That's our next milestone, if I, if, I, if I am not mistaken. Okay, but what we can do now is we should be able to afford um, dropping some services uh, or splitting up our services here. So if, um, well, let's start with fire departments because the industry is not very well covered. Um, so if we move... If we move a fire station over to here and then build a fresh new one here, that will give us some better coverage. 
How's medical looking? Medicals. Yeah, not so much. Police. Police is okay. Well, let's start with fire. That's the that's the most important of the three. All right, so we're gonna move. That's convenience store, drugstore, firehouse. So we're gonna move you. If we put you here. Now that'll cover the industry. That won't cover the industry, but that will. Yeah, it has to be touching this bottom road or it's not going to work. Yeah, it's got to cuz that way they can go left, right or up uh as the as their as it's needed. Still doesn't cover these little areas, but eh, we'll have some industries that just never level up. And I mean, they can get to them. It's just a matter of fire prevention. Wow, the relocation cost is half the cost of a new one. Damn you hard mode. All right, maybe I shouldn't uh maybe I shouldn't do that. Because, I mean, it's literally not that far, and the coverage difference isn't isn't very isn't too different. Because if I keep you here, yeah, the coverage difference really isn't much different. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste the the money. All right, fine. This is this is all the coverage you guys are gonna get. Uh, and then once this area develops more, I'll probably uh, build more uh, of an item over there. Either that or. Um, now, hang on, let me take a look at uh, medical clinic, because the clinic is not as far-reaching. Oh, that's because I have the, um, that's because I have the funding turned down for it. Duh. Meh, all right, fine. We'll leave it as is, then. All right, so what we've got to do here... It looks like we need to uh, build out ourselves another uh, industrial sector thingy here. Another line here. And might as well finish this, finish the path off. Uh, I'm just going to do a minor one here. Um, just because the uh, it's not that very efficient <laughs> spacing wise so we only it only needs to be serviced by a, a smaller road so yeah a little little bit of inefficiency there but that's only because we're mixing our uh, our zone types and we couldn't afford to build out the the bigger ones right from the get-go all right, so with that uh, industry being taken care of, there's going to be some more demand for commercial. Now, I have an idea, a plan, if you will, uh, for our commercial zone. And it's going to involve sort of expanding Atlas Park this way. Um, so, and it's also going to be, it's also going to involve changing the traffic pattern just a little bit. Uh, I still want to keep this dichotomy uh, going just because I like the way it's working for us. But it's it's um, we we gotta we gotta change some things up here. But I think we have enough cash to do that. Um, so we are going to do a little experimenting here. All right. So what I think I'm going to do here is sorry. So currently we have to get to this commercial area, which is very very profitable and successful right now. Um, you know, workers come up here, hang this left, and then come back down and rejoin with the rest of the thing. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to expand this a little bit um, so that they can still make their way down here, um, but they're going to have a couple of different choices of how to do it. Um, and the other thing is the exit's not necessarily, uh, the exit back to the rest of the town is not necessarily going to come from this road. Um, in fact, it's not going to come from that road. It's going to come from a sort of a more distant road over here. So let's, uh, let's, yikes. Let's give that a try. And also, just to goose land values a bit, we're going to use the, uh, again, with trees, uh, 63, 50. Let's, let's, uh, let's use the pretty roads. Let's use the pretty roads. I'm, I'm game for some pretty roads. Are you? I'm, I think you. 
So let's do, um, yeah, we're going to do, we're going to just do sort of like what we did with the industrial, just make a framework here. Um, so yeah, we're going to go over that way for four lengths. I'm going to draw you down here. Four lengths. Now here's what we're going to do. This road right here, see right about here, we're going to draw you over this way. And ultimately, it's going to be this exit that links back up with the main spine of the of the town, which means that road's going away. And actually, we're going to grab our road here, and actually, yeah, we'll keep it like that. We'll draw the spine right over here. Oh my god, it on cost. Good. All right, let's get back to that. Well, one way. Oop, all right, hang on, let me trim this. I want to make sure it's, uh... Ah, perfect. Thank you, guidelines. That's what I wanted. Minimum tilt. So now, people go up this way. They go up this way. They go over here, but now they have to come down through here. But now we can have a couple of different threads of commercial zones um, to lead us up here. Now, this is going to be pushing more traffic around here. So I think what I'm going to do is uh, why is uh, upgrade this this lane right here? No? What's in the way? Is that the, the... I might have to... I might have to... What's in the way over here? Can't upgrade to this. Oh, because it's a one-way road. Duh. All right. Well, then we're just going to... Oh, so I can't make it a four, so let's try and make it a six then. It's weird that there's no one-way four lane. Um, but, meh. What the hey. Um, and, yeah, we'll... Boom. Boom. There we go. Nice, nice big lane up here. Um, and if traffic becomes an issue, I'll, I will not hesitate to upgrade this lane right up here. But for now, I'll leave it. Um, all right, so let's get some zoning goodness going here. More commercials, 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 commercials. Um, yeah, all this is going to be commercial. Um... We, I am going to draw a little line here to, yeah, because this is where it starts turning off. So commercial all the way down here, commercial, 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 and then all of this is, uh, going to be industry. don't know why this area is just not being developed. Let me try and dezone it and then rezone it. Just in case it's like glitched or something. Because so I know there's like two, there's, there's narrower industrial zones out there. All right, let's, uh, we've got enough cash for our, uh, our pipages here. At least I hope we do. Oh, wait, what am I doing? Derp. And draw it down from here. And almost got it. There we go. Maximum coverage. Too much overlap. Too much of a gap. Too much little of a gap. Too much of a gap. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, I say. And yeah, there's enough contiguous zoning over here that they'll... Uh... Yeah, so some zones are going to be rebuilding themselves, but that's okay. Oh, and that reminds me. Uh, let us get ourselves a park.
can't have Atlas Park without a park. And since they were whining about, uh, ooh, Paradox Plaza, there we go. Here we go. That'll uh, that'll that'll uh, get the commercial zones going here. And while we're at it, let's uh, let's uh, draw the uh, zone out here so that Atlas Park can encapsulate this new area. Yeah, it's going to whine about not having power for a little bit, but once we get some commercial zones to walk over there, it'll be fine. Right. We are going to want to keep an eye on this traffic here. Oh, and we are going to want to add a bus stop over here. Well, actually, this bus stop still serves its purpose uh, for visiting the commercial zone because people can walk elsewhere. I mean, I guess I could um, put move it over to here so they're getting off by the plaza. Um, but I'll wait. I'll have. I'll wait until more commercial zones have developed and you know, at the very least get, gotten the power shared over there. Okay, so that's looking good. Now we're starting to uh, kick up our residential demand. So let us not. Uh, Oop, 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 uh, garbage, garbage pickup. Mm. I could see a problem with that. We just increased the uh, distance that it's going to take our garbage trucks to do their thing. Mm. Well, poop. That is problematic. Namely, because I don't want to, I don't want to pollute either of these areas, because that'll just stink up the joint. And yeah, these things have a way of stinking up the joint. Uh, all right, you know what? I might have to commit myself to uh, make it a little stink hole over this direction and do something about the area. That way we can get some, some more efficient garbage collection going. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to take... No, we're not upgrading. I'm just going to draw a road down to here. And we're going to build ourselves nothing at the moment until we save back up to 5000 bucks. But yeah, by having some garbage collection at both ends, we should be should be good. There we go. Too steep. Okay, we're good here. And that keeps us out of harm's way. It is still going to stink up the joint. Um, but you know what? Eh, some you got to have some slums. You got to have some slums. You got to have some nasty part of town. That just yeah, that just cut power. Of course, it cut power. That should do it. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Sewage, sewage, blah, blah, blah. Deal with it. All right, so you're sending out a big old convoy of garbage trucks, so that uh, trash piling up should take care of itself pretty soon. And like I said, now we should have some pretty good blanket coverage both north and south for garbage collection. Uh, I am still going to keep the incinerators up, uh, up north because I don't want to make the area extra stinky. Oh, for Pete's sake, would you guys just walk some power over here? I really don't want to uh, build power lines, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Fine, you big babies. Sheesh. How is my power doing anyway? I don't have to... Yeah, I'm sucking it. <laughs> I'm eating it up pretty quickly here. Uh, well, it looks like we're going to be doing some more saving. So the feeling is our commercial zones develop, they're going to start sucking up more power. And, um, oh, here, here we go. I want to make sure we get full commercial coverage there and there and here. 
All right, well, at least the traffic flow is still doing pretty well. It's a little bit longer of a trek home, but it's not snarling traffic. Um, and now we can just rake our uh, guys uh, across a larger portion of uh, commercial zones. But yeah, people are going to start whining about... Uh... All right, well, fine. Here, you guys want houses? Well, let's build somewhere where we already have the infrastructure. You're not going to be happy about it. But, uh, yeah, we'll just have, we, you gotta have some garbage houses. All right, and I think that's a good stopping spot here. So, um, if you like this episode, want to see more like it, go ahead and hit, and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. Uh, so until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya.